A good utility move is a dime a dozen, and today I'm going to teach you one of my favorites. Uh, this move allows you to control cards, force cards, visibly change cards, uh, transform cards. There's a lot you can do with this move, hence the name a utility move. It's not a super difficult move, but it will take some time to get it down smoothly. But I know that once you spend a few uh, days with it, you can get it down uh, no problem. Let's get into it. All right, so what I'll do here is uh, get a random card chosen. Maybe that one right there. Please remember your card. It goes back somewhere uh, right around there. All right, so now what I'll try to do is use estimation to try to locate where your card went uh, as I was dropping cards. But I'll do it face up so you can see if I get it or not. All right, so if I just do this, maybe I can stop on your card. Was that it, the Ace of Clubs? No. I, you know, I'll try it this way. Instead, I'll just toss it through the deck as they're being dropped like this. Maybe this time I can find your card. What was it? Queen of Diamonds? All right, so this is the one-handed bottom deal, and uh, believe it or not, it's quite easy to do. It's not like a regular bottom deal because First of all, you have half the deck to work with, which makes it easier already. Second, you don't have to try to hide, you know, perfect uh, perfect push off bottoms like this. Uh, you're just doing it one handed and uh, the turning over the packet really shades it. So here's the mechanics of the one handed bottom deal. So just for teaching purposes, I'll remove half of the deck and without any context, I'll just show you what the move is. All right, so what you're gonna do is hold the deck like this in sort of a mechanics grip with your index finger curled around the front. And very important here, you wanna have the corner of the deck, I mean, it's probably already there anyway, against the base of your thumb here, so just like that. And that index finger really pushes it in there uh, with some force, okay? So now what you wanna do is with these three fingers, they move as sort of the a sort of a unit up to the corner of the deck here, just like this, all right? So uh, you're sort of in a weird urdenace uh, grip here. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is with your middle finger from below, uh, put it on the corner of that bottom card, and all you're gonna do here is apply upward pressure this way and back. Okay, what's that, what's, what that's gonna do is buckle that card, okay? So just like that, it creates a little bubble or a buckle in that card. And that's going to make it a lot easier to loosen that bottom card there, okay? So you're like this and that middle finger just scoots it down, upward and back pressure of that card. And then you can just slide that card out easily that way. Now for the switch uh, for the one-handed bottom, what you're gonna do is display a card or have a card pushed over and do the buckle move at, at the same time what you're going to do is turn your wrist over pushing that card in and letting that card just drop down it's so easy to do i i promise you it's it's easier than a bottom deal so you're here and you're like this with that grip i showed you with the index finger applying pressure there so you're like this the packet is gripped mainly with your index finger in your basically your thumb there okay so these fingers are free all right so like i said you're gonna be here with the top card pushed over that card loosened turn your wrist over pretending to drop this card what actually takes place is switching it for the bottom card of course okay so you're here do that buckling move turn your wrist over as as you're doing that push that card flush and that card just gets dropped out now, don't get discouraged. It will take some time to be able to do that uh, smoothly, but I promise you, once you get it, there is a lot of things you can do with this, all right? So, uh, for instance, you can use it as a card four. So the force card is on the bottom of the deck, in this case, a five of clubs. Dribble the deck, somebody says stop. Oh, right here, uh, are you sure you wanna go more or less? It's up to you, all right? Look at your card, I won't look. Of course, you do look at this face up, but anyway, that's the basic move, all right? It's, it's the one-handed bottom deal. Uh, they believe that you're just pushing over that card onto the table when in reality, it's coming from the bottom. Here's a slow motion uh, exposed view of it. So you're here, as you do that, it just gets exchanged as you drop down like that. And it looks so convincing. I mean, it really fools the eye. All right, so you're here. Uh, we'll switch the two for that card, the nine of hearts. All right, so that's how you use it for a force. If you want to force a card without having it face up like that, what you can do is, uh, again, have it on the bottom of the deck, obviously, and uh, they say stop, 
And are you sure you want to stop there? You can go a few more, a few less. It's up to you. And you want to stop right here, all right? Look at your card. I won't look. And then just do the move and force the six of clubs. Again, all you're doing here is uh, without the wrist turn action, you're just simply doing the move straight down this way, right? So that's a nice force to use as well. Here's a nice way to use this as a control, okay? So have somebody say stop, show them their card, in this case, the eight of clubs. All right, so now we're gonna do is, you know, side joggle like we talked about here and pretend to throw it in as you're doing this, but really you just execute with the one hand and bottom. In this case, you don't turn it over, you just do it like that. You just toss it in that way, right? So instead of turning their wrist in this time, you're just shooting the card over like that in a fast motion with everything going on. It's really deceptive. All right, so we'll take the, I don't know, the two of spades here, toss it in somewhere around, around there, and they believe that's their card. In reality, it's on top of the deck. You can also use the move uh, for sort of a card change idea. So let's suppose somebody chose a card here, like the Jack of Clubs, or I'm sorry, the Jack of Spades, and we've controlled at the top of the deck with our favorite method. Now, what you say is this, like we'll try to find it like this. Uh, maybe that one, was that your card? They say no. What about that one? They say no. What about that one? They say no. Now what you do here is say, oh, I'll try this. Now you just make a one-handed fan like this, and sort of like, you know, wave it like this, and I think you're gonna drop it down like this, but really just do the move straight down. All right, so like wave it like this and just do the move and it changes to their card. So the trick I did in that demo was this. So you have a card chosen and controlled at the top, in this case, the Ace of Diamonds. And then you say, look, I'll try to, I'll try to get to it like this. And then uh, what you do here is just uh, dribble the deck base up and do the move. Was that it? The, the queen, they say no. Now just put these on top, but don't flash that because that'll be kind of weird, right? It's, oh, and it, jump, it jumps back, a different trick, okay? So put these on as you turn your hand over so they don't see that queen there again. All right, so now just put the deck face up and say, well, try this instead. So now just uh, sort of dribble the deck on the table and, and toss it through like this, and it changes to their card. So here's another idea that plays on that idea. So let's say you have four aces on top of the deck or any four of a kind, all right? So you would just force the top one onto this person and they would just be holding on to it. You never see this card, okay? So now what you do here is like, I'm trying to get close to your card if I can. So now just uh, dribble a little bit, maybe a quarter of the deck and do the move switching it for uh, one of the aces, right? So just like this, switch it for an ace, obviously. But when you come back, don't flash that again, right? Uh, dribble these on, dribble a little bit more. Uh, queen, maybe it could be a queen. Do the same move once more, uh, maybe a 10, I don't know. It could be one of these, it could be close to your card. Uh, what was it? And they turn over an ace, and of course, uh, they all change to the aces. So obviously there's a lot you can do with this move and uh, once you master it, the sky is the limit of what you can do with this. And uh, yeah, I hope you take the time uh, to practice it and get it smooth and I know you will. Just stick with it and keep practicing because uh, you know, uh, you'll know you be so happy with yourself once you do master it. All right guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It truly does mean the world to me. And so if you learned something new and if you got value from this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.